Wednesday. Look at that. We just started right off on the screen. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. Well, uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's me and Matt Millard. <laughs> Hello. Just foregoing proper. We, na we nailed it. We nailed it. We're breaking the cycle, baby. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> we can do that. How are you doing, Matt? How was your week? Uh, man, it's you know, Tuesday, it's, 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 it's been a full week. It's uh, been a full it's week. Been, it's, been, it's been Monday and Tuesday. It's been Monday and Tuesday. It feels like a full week. Yeah, no, it's uh, man. I'm doing all right. I I saw the uh, I saw dinosaurs the movie part seven. I I night. also saw dinosaurs, the movie. Part yeah, seven. yeah. We'll we'll probably we'll probably talk about some. Dinosaurs. We're gonna talk about that, uh, yeah. and then we're gonna have a lot of fun. And then um, today, uh, today our uh, our prompt here is actually going to be pretty interesting. We decided um, that we were going to use some AI generated prompts uh, for kind of general inspiration. And then we were going to use that to sculpt off of. So these were <clears throat> generated in uh, mid journey and using some like very simple prompts of like Fishman, uh, Octane Render, uh, Guillermo del Toro, things like that. And this is kind of what it spat out. So I spat out, you know, a bunch of versions of them, but I ultimately narrowed it down to like these, um, these four, because they have kind of like a fishy, froggy thing. And, you know, we're going to talk, uh, I think, about some of the benefits and, um, you know, also the, the drawbacks of, of AI. But, you know, one thing people were talking about online is, you know, it's it's good for getting rid of the blank page syndrome. So if you guys have ever experienced something like that, it means like you sit down to work, you're ready to, you're ready to go and make something like mm -hmm. what do I make today. <clears throat> and, um, and sometimes that's hard when you sit down and you're like, what the hell do I do? Um, so this is kind of where AI can really help you um, just by typing in some words and, uh, you know, out it spits some images that can be used for, you know, inspiration or concept artists can paint over or do things like that. So it's very powerful. Um, and I think, you know, we've talked about it before on, on the stream, but, you know, it is, it does feel like a, a really insane breakthrough. Oh man. I mean, imagine what it's going to be like just in five years. Yeah. I mean, uh, it'll uh, be ridiculous. It's going to be ridiculous. They will and, be generating uh, 3d geometry. <laughs> yeah. I think, so. I think we're going to get there for yeah, sure. For um, sure, man. For sure. And, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it some more, but like I, I started, uh, uh, basically wanting to do very, something very simple, uh, versus like some crazy generation, uh, thing. So I wanted to do something that was kind of like simple that I could attempt quickly and that we could kind of use, you know, some of the cues here that are given to us and, and maybe come up with a fun little creature tonight. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Matt, why don't you show us, uh, yours? <clears throat> you got it. You got, got it. it. Yeah. So I don't even remember what I, told you to put in here it was like it was spider a, piloting a human head or something yeah so i i tried it i tried two of them because the first one i was like well that i don't i don't think that's what you mean right uh because like the the one thing you know you're 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 putting in words but it doesn't understand context yeah uh, it doesn't so it's it's kind of like a crazy surreal shot in the dark you know what i mean like and with the, can, with the images, guide it by the prompts that you give in and how you are, um, you know, typing in your words and, and being very careful about your word selection, word placement, and all these things because you'll get a totally different response. Right. Um, but it doesn't understand context yet. So when Matt said that to me, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, of course, duh, I know what you mean. Yeah. 
you're you're talking about a a, a Lovecraftian tarantula piloting a human body. Right. You know, in my mind, I thought, okay, cool. It's you know, it's a big spider and inside of a dude's brain and that like, is exactly right. so, so that, right that's exactly my idea and then you get all of this and it's completely yeah. different <laughs> but and, it's, and um it's that, amazing thing. And that 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 transfer of thought <clears throat> from my brain to your brain we knew exactly what we were talking about yeah that's yeah. wild <laughs> it's wild and um so the first one i did i just plugged in exactly what you said uh and and i think that was like the the um top right one right right and and um and it looked more like spidery but with like a human face in it and um and so then uh i, I generated a few of those and i'm like i don't think this is what he's talking about and so i switched it around to a uh, human body being piloted by lovecraftian spider so mm -hmm. the just the switching of the words gave me a totally different result and I bet even even if we typed in those same words into a new prompt, we would get something totally different. Oh, they'd be you. completely different. You know, and, and so that's another thing is like you're not going to get consistency, I think, from image to image. So everybody's going to be plugging in, plugging in the same words, essentially, even in the same order and getting something totally different. Um, Matt says he's echoing. I think, am I? Am I can are you, you echoing? I don't hear you. You don't echo. I hear you. He's here. He hears it. I think I like this one the most, though. I'm like changing my idea, right? Uh, like which one? Just, Bottom right. I I kind of I kind of thought you would go for that guy. Yeah, just I mean, just seeing like it's it's more like kind of John Carpenter's the thing, like yeah. just busting out of There's your something body. really cool in the <clears throat> face and the weird hair and yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll probably mix. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take this one, but suspend the head off the body, kind of like this one, you know. It's uh, yeah. it's definitely, it's like blue blue sky kind of chop and chop to see what you respond to. You yeah. know what I mean? But this one right here is just I, it's some There's of something freaky just about that. Looks too. like like fingers in the foreground, yeah. like summoning some beast. That's fucking creepy. But um, uh, I, I like I like, I like this one actually. I like this one. I like this, this. hair because it feels like a torso. Yeah, I love this like shadowy figure. It, it's uh, and you can see like his hands are almost yeah, kind of touching. Weird. It's insane. So it's yeah, I mean, weird. definitely a mix between probably probably these three right here. But uh, I'll just start noodling and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's who knows? Uh, <laughs> let's <laughs> who knows do where it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Smokey. So we start every project the same way, which is pretty much just a sphere, a sphere and a, and a cube. I lay down a cube because um, it grounds your character in space. And the other thing is that um, when you move your cube, your, your grid is snapping to the lowest point. So a lot of times, like you'll work on a character and you'll start pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling, and the ground is going to, like, you're going to keep chasing the ground. Right. I like to put in a little cube here, snaps the ground to it. There's also a button that turns off the snap, and that snaps it back to, this is, like, the exact center of ZBrush space. So if you want to do that, you can do that. There's a button for that, guys. There's a button for that, and it's in uh, draw. Hokey smokey. But we're going to have a good time making some monsters and talking about dinosaurs. Dinos. We won't spoil anything. Dino DNA, boys. Yeah, uh, a lot of people said it was absolutely terrible. And I was, uh, honestly, I, I mean, I was like, I mean, you know, it'll probably suck. It, 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 it was I, really fun. <laughs> I thought it was really fun. It, it's kind of that thing where, like, you go online... And the strongest uh, uh, opinions come out first because that's the algorithm kicking in, right? Like they want attention. Uh, <clears throat> but like, yeah, it was fine. It was, and it's actually kind of fun. Mm. 
Yeah, it's crazy. I'm I'm just like looking at the reference, like what am I? Where am I starting? That's that's the benefit of starting a project about five minutes before <laughs> before before you start. You're like, you're, like, you're like, what's going on here? <laughs> well, it starts as okay. a series of tubes. It's a series of tubes. It's a series of tubes. So I'm gonna bring bring this guy over. This is kind of my main my main reference right here. Joe Raffy. Joe Raffy. Because I like his little jar head. He's got like a little jar head and a, like a little like yeah. He's got like I love a, it. A dingle in there or something. He's got a dingle. He's got a dingle. A little bit of a dingle. And we'll give him. Uh, this kind of looks like a torso. But there's something like undeniably like AI about how it puts stuff together it's all yeah it's all very kind of just surreal and it's it's not it's, uh, it's not made by a human brain for sure because human brains you know tend to go towards order it's like made by the the data of a million human brains yeah exactly it is all our brains man that is, i mean it's truly some science fiction stuff it really is it's wild um And uh, it, I, and I was thinking about it, like, what is the ultimate goal of everything that like CGI is moving towards, right? And it goes back to the thing we all want the most, right? To not pay oh, artists. The holodeck. <laughs> right? the, ho the holodeck, absolutely. The holodeck. That is the ultimate goal, right? Is just to get to the holodeck. That's that's what VR is. That's what AR is. All the CGI that we're doing in photoreal humans. We just, yeah, the, the uh -huh. new meta, that new meta human plugin is the insane. New, it's insane. Yeah. Um, it's it, wild, man. It's it's like you spend months and months on a likeness and try and make everything look really good, and then and then it's like, oh, you can just scan your head you can off an of iPhone. <laughs> And uh, and you're good. <laughs> you know that that's one of the first kind of things that we learned at Nomen was that uh, the tools are always going to be changing. Mm -hmm. Anthony, what's up? Um, the oh. tools are always going to be changing, and it's up to us to keep up with them because. There's always going to be another tool that's going to be faster, better. And now, as we're learning with AI, we'll probably just do your job for you. Yeah, to some extent, for sure. I mean, we, I, I you, you mentioned, um, you know, AI ge generated geometry, which is oh, yeah. right around the corner. Yeah, I mean, it's it's next for sure. I mean, there, there's, Absolutely. there's that. That stuff exists kind of already through plugins and, and you know geometry nodes and all that stuff. But like uh, being able to plug something in with a few text prompts, you know, into uh, into ZBrush, for example, that that would be crazy. Yeah, that'd be wild. You just download the FBX or the OBJ or whatever, and there, there you it go. is. Yeah, there it is. So it, it's kind of like. It's heavy stuff when you consider it. And, you know, ultimately, I don't, I don't know. It, it feels, uh, it feels so shocking. Yeah. And yet, wild. you know, um, my, my wife knows I've been obsessed with it, you know, as of late. Um, and she's like, you know, it might take your job, but you can't stop making it. You can't stop using it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're right. You know, it is. Um, it's a very fun, effective toy to play with. And one of the things that I kind of like about it is that um, now I don't have to devote a lot of brain power to every stupid idea that I have. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to see a pickle blimps, I just type in <laughs> pickle 
blimps, and then I'm like, boom, pickle blimp. Woo-hoo! There it is. That's, a, that's the pickle blimp right there. That's a pickle blimp. And I'm like so happy because I, it's like I got it. But um, but also, like, that's terrifying as, a, as an artist. For sure. But I guess we just have to have continued faith in our abilities and uh, the human capacity uh, for creativity. Yeah, I mean, it's it's important, you know. Uh, but think, once I, you know, once again, like you know, to demonstrate, Matt and I, we communicated just a few words to each other, and, and we're able to to kind of like instantly be on the same. Just page. exactly like, no. That, I that's mean, a, exactly that's wild no. because yeah, I I didn't know what you thought I meant by my prompt, but whenever you said it at the beginning of the stream, I was like, dude, that's literally. That's exactly what. Right. And, and, yeah. and, and what a great example of like human to human interaction. So, you know, these are things that we're going to be, I think, debating very hotly uh, <laughs> as as uh, as this technology continues to advance. And there there was a podcast uh, the the um, art department podcast with um, Manuel Shu and um, oh, you have to forgive me, but it they they also did a great discussion on um, on AI and the artist and what that means and right. Uh, and so right now the consensus is like no it's not going to come for our jobs yet uh what do you guys think about character creator four uh i haven't i haven't messed with it that yeah, that's I, unreal yeah uh i used it's not it's not in unreal but you can you can bridge it straight to unreal if i remember correctly uh it's a standalone software i used that i think last year it's it's awesome dude i mean there's so much control in there it's you can like I think for for the project I was working on, we we were making like a basketball player, and uh, you could just design where the sweat was going and oh, how wet cool. how wet it was and what the scale was on top of all the different like skin presets and character presets. I mean, it's it's a great tool. It's like a buffed up Daz, right? Basically. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I've been waiting to get rid of Daz for forever. <laughs> forever. Yeah. Uh, I. I have a love hate program. Uh, love hate program. I have a love hate. Uh, <laughs> I have a love hate program. I love. I have a love hate program with it. Uh, dude, Hartel said that, uh, or saying that Kyle used it in one of his uh, demos. What's that? Daz. Character creator. Oh. I'll have to mess with it. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to talk um, to Kyle Brown about, about his about, behavior. Uh, that's why we came here is to talk to Kyle Brown. But uh, I want to mess with it. Mm-hmm. I want to mess with that and meta humans. Obviously, I want to try that. Yeah, I'm, I think in the next. I really, week. I really want to get my my head in there because yeah. I'm, you know, I got a bald head. It's easy. I got a bald ass I got a bald head. head. I got a cue ball. <laughs> What's great is I can texture map, you know, on top of my own head now. I have scanned my head several times. Uh, the first time you see your head scanned and you see it without like your skin, it's yeah. terrifying. Honestly, I thought I was just the most handsome dude I'd ever seen. I was like, You're like uh, I was like, look at this nose. He fell in mm. love. It was beautiful. Look at you. 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 Hey, <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Making a little fish, man. Making my way downtown. Making my way downtown with a fish, man. That's right. I need a meta Jared in my life. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. I'm scared. What? I'm just scared about it. Meta. Meta human. <laughs> but like, I'll tell you what. An AI, they can't make up silly things the way we can. Yeah, they don't have like it's all it's all smooth. from our brains. I mean they don't have they don't have that smooth brain like us. They don't have that smooth brain like the rest of us. You got that. Really, what happens when you got that you know, machine brain? 
what happens when uh, the first you know AI movie comes out and it's yeah. terrible? Oh well, I mean they'll probably just keep making them, right? They'll keep they'll keep making them. You got a little smooth brain. Little smooth brain. You got a little smooth brain. Yeah, uh, Jurassic Dominion was very long. It was, was a, it was a really long it, movie. Like, here's the thing: is like it's a long movie, and I, I, I wish they cut like an hour, not a whole hour, but like just cut like guys just cut some stuff, guys. It's Jurassic Park. It's not Lord of the Rings. Like the the scope of the story doesn't need to be that. Yeah, it was. That's that's why I was saying it was just kind of. I mean, it's kind of goofy, right? It's this like this huge, crazy, multi storyline kind of thing. But it was. Uh, I, I mean, for me, it was kind of like Top Gun. Like it was just like a fun action movie. Like okay, well, oh uh, yeah, there like you. Go. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Also, what I'm saying is that like. If if you know your movie's silly, and it's like, and you even go to the to the lengths of being like, "Hey, audience, this movie is silly. Just go with it." Um, at least do us the courtesy of not making it like drawn out, right? Of like not drawing out a, a bad joke for, <laughs> for for like an extra you know hour and a half, like. Have your fun and then like keep it tight. Have your fun and keep it tight. You understand me? You understand? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> sir. But see, like it's cool, it's like we can make like a little monster. We can make a little monster. We can make a little monster. And his name will be Tim Bibbins. His name is Mr. Timothy Bibbins. And he's an attorney at law. Mr. Tim, Tim Roy Bibbins. Yeah, I have watched a lot of stuff. I don't even know what I've watched. Well, I mean, dude, like, uh, uh, dude, we watched Obi Wan. Uh, right? uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I oh. binged all of Evil, the the CBS TV show. <laughs> Can I scan your head? Yeah, that's a good way. Yeah. Maybe maybe don't save that for the first date. Hey, I'm in CG. Can I scan your head? Yeah. Do you mind if I scan your cranium? You want to? Can I scan your cranium? I love the shapes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love yeah. the shapes, I love the babe. Shapes, I love the shapes, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Justice, what's up, man? Welcome. Yo, what's going on? What's up, Deviant? Hello. So are you guys just going straight sculptress from the top to ex- that's what I'm doing. I'm just Yeah, I'm just I'm like pulling I'm pulling stuff out. I'm like, does this work? I don't know. You know, I'm I'm pulling yeah. stuff out to see if to see if I like it. And I like- think I'm liking it. He's gonna be a creepy man. Yeah, I, I think the goal here is not to like replicate one to one the the thing that you you see an AI, um, because because then you're just going to be modeling it, and that's a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's as fun. No, um, I mean that's you know, different too, right? I mean, yeah, that's a different like side of your brain. It's completely different. Um, it's more it's more just reference, like kick ass reference. Yeah, 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 you know, and and kind of in a way, it's the most appropriate reference because it's exactly what you would you know. Um, but also there's there's some extra stuff in there that you may not you wouldn't think of doing yeah for sure so um you know there's advantages in there and i you know i don't think this is like don't copy this one-to-one i think what makes the art special essentially is the human element you know where what we're generating on top of it 
you know, like just like I feel weird when posting like mid journey stuff because it's not really me. I, yeah. I, I mean, I for sure, it's, it's really weird to see people posting it. I'm like, yeah. Okay. And, and posting it like as their own, like I'm like, I made this with the same level of effort. Right. Um, like that doesn't feel right. Like I, I think, um, to me, like just using the term, like this was just generated in a program. Um, I think that feels better than like, I made this. Cause like, mm, you don't really make it in the same way that an artist makes it. it. It's hard to explain. And I also wonder what it must be like for people who are maybe not, um, not artists to get to play with something like this i mean dude can you can you imagine whenever i, I just imagine the clients man that's all i can imagine now we're thinking something like this or can you make it more and they'll just type in some words and just start feeding a bunch of images like why doesn't it look like this why does this is what i want this is what i want i'm, I'm i've already got ptsd about picky clients using it like in a in a gnarly way like that you know what i'm saying yeah, it, it's hard to say too because I th I think we'll we'll definitely see some of this kind of stuff in film. Oh yeah, uh, you know for sure, and and games I'm sure as well. Um, we will we will see these things translated. And I will say I've seen a lot of impressive artwork uh, come out of here, but if if it's for anything in my mind, I'm like this does really nasty scary horror images i mean it's, it's, not, it's yeah like, like it's, it's insane <laughs> i'm like wow the, the joke is that like lovecraftian is its only function yeah, you know, yeah. That's, that's its one button um and i'm into it and and i'm into it as well and i think a lot of horror guys are really into it i don't see like the disney you know tune style crowd um really using this in the same way uh, maybe for backgrounds and environments, um, I'm sure. I'm sure people right now are doing amazing stuff with it. But there is something, you know. Again, like you're, you're just putting prompts in, and it doesn't, I think, have the same level of satisfaction um, oh, that no. you get. Like for for, you know, as hard as I am on my work and my my myself and my process and like i worked goddamn hard for it and yeah. uh you know to to see it you know maybe go away um you know because the, the the agony and the anguish of the work is also kind of the point yeah uh, it's like uh you know i mean you can feel it whenever an artist puts in energy you know that's yeah. the whole that's the whole thing but it's also the wild thing about ai is because you could just type in that artist fucking name and be like you know <laughs> yeah but yeah there it is and it's like oh here's here's 70 years of creativity you know of expertise and stuff like that and it's just straight up you just type in or type in the words it's wild you man. just type it in and there it is um so it is it is it is strange um just two dudes sculpting horrors beyond our comprehension and vibing that's, that's right what we like that's, that's right preacher corner that's, that's preacher every corner. week that's every that's week we let's go hold up hold up is that concept ai that's right matt and i we are uh using ai generated imagery as uh inspiration so that's the theme of tonight it does feel like cheating. Yeah. I mean, like it, it is, uh, it's, it doesn't feel quite right. Um, and yet we're all, I mean, like I'm addicted to it. I, I love using it. Um, I think it generates stuff that I would never normally generate on my own. Yeah. Um, and that I think is actually what's really exciting is like, Oh, or, and also kind of seeing how it assembles images. Yeah, it's wild seeing the diffusion go to yeah, work. Yeah, and, and there's something kind of hypnotic about it. Uh, but also it kind of teaches you maybe how to make art. You know, start with these like simple shapes and colors and silhouettes and then... And then render fine, it up. Fine, yeah. Fine. yeah. 
So maybe it, it might encourage non-artists to might actually want to learn how to make art. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a doctor. I'm just a young, very young doctor. I'm very young. He's only seven. I'm only seven year old. Year. Only seven year old. I'm only seven and I talk like this. <laughs> I was born with this voice and I'll die with it, Your Honor. It's called Dan Jenkins. <laughs> it's called Dan Jenkins. It's, it's, There's no disease this time. It it's, just makes you, nope, it's just Dan Jenkins. It's just Dan Jenkins. And everybody knows what you're talking about. It's Dan oh, yeah. Jenkins. They can hear it in your voice. They know they it's can true. Hear it. And, and, you know, so like in this case, I think what we're doing now is fine like using it as inspiration for other things. I think that's yeah, for cool. sure. Like I, I can see like lazy book publishers. Dude, uh, you, you know, know, that's what it's going to be. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, th I know think that's, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, um, it's scary, dude. It's it like, is, uh, okay. But also I think there are artists out there that like, I don't think an AI can replicate their style, no matter like how good it is. Um, maybe, maybe I mean not I yet. Know. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know dude. To it. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it sounds like a challenge. <laughs> no, I don't want, no, I'm not trying. Like, make my job easier. Don't take away the fun stuff. Okay, we are just in nightmare territory. I mean, we are. Yeah, we don't know what what it's going to lead to. It might be sentient ham sandwiches. We got a question here. Hey guys, I started following your stuff after seeing your work in GVK last year. And this year I wanted to get into creature sculpting as I grew a bit weary of animation. Do you have any tips? Hmm. We've got Some tips. tippy taps. Uh, we've, we've got tippy taps. For, first of all, uh, thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, we really appreciate it. That is awesome. Uh, we're we're excited to have you on board, man. Um, look, uh, uh, to start into getting into creature sculpting, um, when I like to learn something new, what I first do is I absorb a lot of theory. Um, so I just watch videos, which means yeah. like just like watch videos of people making stuff, um, you know, watching different sculptors, you know, trying different things, um, learn about the software, uh, and then, you know, the practical application, which is sit down and do, uh, just sit down for a block of time, block out, you know, I would say three hours is a good chunk of time. Mm -hmm. so if you have a good day or whatever it is, Block out like three hours and just sit down and make a head. Just yeah. practice starting with a human head. And if you can sculpt the skull or a human head, that's how it all starts. Yeah. Everything else comes from structure and, and learning that. So like uh, for newbies, I say start practicing skulls. Like that nothing will teach you structure better than uh, because dude oh, that that is hard it is really hard that stuff is really hard and that's the first thing that i did I, eric keller was my intro to zed uh professor and he yes, that was uh i mean the dude great the dude great. the dude yeah. is a legend a great uh, eric keller. has has written books yeah, on too. maya <laughs> formative he's, he's amazing yeah, he, he's awesome. And, you know, that was one of our first uh, first things. And that's whenever you really realize, like, how hard everything is. You're like, oh, okay. But, you know, then it's like, or, that's, or, that's, or, that's literally the foundation. Like, once you can tackle that one giant thing, you, you just start to learn how to read shapes and how to recreate them in 3D space. Like, man. That's a yeah. That's a solid place right there. And the thing the thing is is you got to do it like music. You got to practice all the time. You got to do the same thing over and over and over and over again, and never get comfortable. You know, like I think that's beautiful. It's true. I think you're beautiful, Jared. You're beautiful. Thank that, you. Yeah. Um, it is like music. It's any any discipline. 
any creative discipline worth doing means you have to practice it repeatedly um, every day. Every day, that's how you get good. Oh. The damn time. All the time till you're sick of it in the face. Until you're 64. Until you're 64. That's the cutoff. That's the no, cutoff. After no, that. no more after 64. <laughs> no more after 64. We don't make the rules. Sorry. Um, Justice, the- thank you, man. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm in here in case they want to get clean. Yeah, that's uh, can, it, that's can AI company not. sue you to use their software to make stuff? Uh, um, that <laughs> is, I think, out of my yeah. Uh, I I I will I will say I will say I, that you can sue anyone for anything here. Yeah, America, this is America. So. Uh, <laughs> it's the land of the suing. Yeah, baby. Um, We're into it. Like, how much money do you got? Um, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what AR software are we using? We're using uh, MidJourney. That I the, that seems to have the best results. Um, let me, we'll go back. So, the, these are the concepts that I'm using right now. I've, I've selected these four. Um, this guy's kind of my main because I love his little jar head. So I think that would be really kind of fun. And then um, I like this guy because he's got kind of a face in there and there's something weird about that. So like it's happy accidents, right? This is just like weird stuff that the AI is putting together. But, you know, we're we're using our imagination and kind of like see the top of that. This guy, I don't know. He uh, He's also kind of cool. I'm using him less. Um and then I kind of like the, the stuff coming out of this guy's head. Um, it looks like very jellyfish. So this is kind of where a human and AI, I think, can can kind of coexist, where I can be like, okay, I'm going to take the cool stuff from this and the cool stuff from this. Uh, the thing that, like, AI can't do right now is, like, just character, um, putting the spark of life in yeah. I, I, I A lot of their images feel dead. Um so we'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, have we tried um, the Dolly 2 and seen all that stuff? Yes, it's hilarious. I think uh, that. Yeah, that's, that, that, that stuff is funny. That stuff is just for memes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it's just silly fun. It's meme AI. Um, let's see. Workflow time lapse videos are the best actually watching how an artist makes something you think is amazing from beginning to end. Totally agree. And there's, you know, a wealth of it online there. Uh, the best way, you know, if you really want to learn something is find an artist you like and, um, see if they have, um, gum roads for sale. Yeah. Like, the best way literally is support an artist and, uh, you know, and then get some knowledge. Artists uh, are very open with their knowledge, um, and I think it's fair to pay them. I definitely think it's fair to pay them. I, t- I, mean, like, <laughs> I mean, yes, pay them money, uh, uh, basically. And, uh, you know, and then produce some work and, you know, tag that artist and say, I, I, I watched your Gumroad, thank you. And they'll say, oh, that's awesome, thank you so much. And, you know, yeah, and you get the kind relationship. of relationship. That's the kind of stuff that keeps artists going as well. Yeah. Like anytime you like or share or retweet or whatever it is, you like, comment, uh, you do that stuff. That helps. That helps everyone, man. Helps everyone. It helps the artist notice you, and it also helps the artist. You know, helps uh helps them keep going for sure. And, and, it and can we, be a thankless. It uh it can be you know a thankless line of work in some some instances you know and you can feel threatened by technology like this um so it's, it's also cool. like the the act of making is kind of lonely uh, yeah. it, it's it's you against yourself and you're butting up against your own weaknesses and um because that's what it is and uh you you may not feel at your strongest sometimes 
And so that's why the community is very supportive. And um, I think we all we all feel that. And so we all feel the same way. And so I think that's why artists are super supportive. Good, the good artists are. The good ones. The good ones, the good people. The ones we call our friends. Mm. Uh, <laughs> my little freakos, welcome. Yeah, where we at? How you two feeling? Hey guys, I'm a complete beginner to the sculpting and I want to learn it. Can you share some tips to start and learn? Uh, watch every Michael Pavlovich video. Dude, that guy is a monster. Just, well, I mean, just like watch his, just watch every single video. That dude is a monster. Memorize everything that he tells you and you will master the software. Yeah, I mean, I think he started, you know, intro to ZBrush video like 2015. Back, and he's, back, and he he's made he's made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, if not thousands. Yeah. And uh, thousands and thousands. And he, he and they're like cataloged, detailed, yeah. uh, highly entertaining. Why? Why? Like, just watch all his videos. Um. And and that's for like theory, right? Like learning the software, getting good at it. Um, And that's like the the first step, you know, because there's like two parts to this, to the digital sculpting stuff. There's the art, the actual making of, and then there's the technical stuff, which is like, how do you use the software to make the things that you're trying to make? Yeah. You know, and um, and both of those things are hard and there's they're they're separate on their own. So you might learn a cool trick on how to make something and then uh, and then like never like you won't use it for like months and months. And then later you'll be like, oh, what was that one trick? How do you make yeah, that? Dude. And it'll it'll pop right to you. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you'll be like, oh, I got to remember that for later. And then boom, it comes back. And you're like, ah, yes. Aha. Ah, yes. No. Um, Michael Pavlovich. Let me. Yeah. Type it. Pa- I'm just going to Pav- link his. Pavlov. Pa- Pavlovich. I'm just going to link his channel to you. Pav. Have I'm gonna learn to spell. I love spelling. I'm so I like bad spelling. Um, there you go. Here we go. Michael Pavlovich. Uh, he's mm. awesome. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Adam. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, question is, what is the average age for retired artists? I see young artists in the industry, but not old ones, not that much, since the jobs are not like sports where they have an age limit performance. Dude, Phil um, Tippett's releasing Mad God on Thursday, and he's been yeah. in the industry since, since probably before I was born. <laughs> he's he's a master. Yeah, dude, I, There's uh, not an age limit to art, man. I, I, I think uh, there's something in the artist spirit that compels us to make um and we we do that until it, you know sometimes it breaks our bodies mm-hmm. that's <laughs> um, true that's very true so um uh, there, there's something in the artist spirit look at uh, uh hayao miyazaki he's like tried oh, yeah. to retire several times and, and, and he, he just can't dude he, can't, he keeps coming back mm-hmm. because the 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 drug of creation is so potent; uh, it 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 compels you to to make, and um, the power of art compels you. The power of art, you know, it, it's a uh, it's wild. And that's why we do it. That's why we like to hang out. That's why we like to hang out, and that's why we're here. Thank you for joining us. 
on Creature Corner. You know, Jared, I didn't get to hear your your quippy joke on my intro. Oh, I know. I was so disappointed. I was okay. I was gonna do it. You ready? Yeah, let's hear all it. Right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Creature Corner. My name is Jared Krzyzewski. I'm your host tonight. Please welcome the fallen kingdom to my dominion. It's Matt Miller. Please welcome that Matt is Terrible. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Uh, we got it in. Thank you. Thank you You're for welcome. doing that. Thank you for doing that for me. I like that. I'm glad you missed it. Yeah, no, I mean I really, I, I really messed that up. Ugh, I was I was upset about it, but it was blew, gone. I blew it. <coughs> my goodness. All the talking. All of the talking. All of the talking I'm doing. And and you know what? And you know what? And you know what? Like, oh my god. Like, no. This guy this guy's kind of giving me like nerdy vibes. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, counselor. I have the coordinates right here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm right here. Yes, sir. He could be like a fun little like alien sidekick. We'll yeah, call like him, like we'll call him Jeebles. We'll call him Jeebles. Or 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 Jibblies. Or or Gubs. Call him Giblin. K- Giblins. <laughs> Giblin. Giblin. Oh boy, I'm in for it now. I'm in trouble now. The boss is gonna be real heated. Oh, he's gonna be heated. Yeah. His, his temperature is going to rise. <laughs> Let's see. I want to see hard surface model. Oh. oh, dude, I wish I still had my Mecha G model. I lost it in the great, yeah, I know. In the great um, shame. You know, I, I was thinking uh, we should do some hard surface stuff. Yeah, uh, you know, hard surface and ZBrush, depending on what you're doing, I mean, it's is a either, completely different thing than... It is like, a, uh, it is an entire, I think it's a different thought process. Oh, right. dude, yeah, because, I mean, you have the freedom of sculpting cool robots out of a couple of spheres, but then it's like, how the hell do... Then you spend a lot of time, like, engineering on the back end. Oh, God, yeah. And it is that, a nightmare, yeah. And then you dude. just, like... The, then you just want to kit bash because you, you just need filler. Yeah. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But I'll tell you what. Like uh, maybe if we did a um, like a bust. Um, of, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Some yeah. hard surface tech on his face. Yeah. You know some some schmeiber schmeiber schmunk. A little bit of schmongy blondes. A, a little bit of schmummy schmummy schmundes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. That sounds like yeah. fun. Yeah, we'll do a. I'll do a cyber, some sort of cyber werewolf or something. Oh, gotta have that so, creature. I want to have some sort of scary, weird thing in there. We'll do I, it though. I have. I do have one thing that I want to do, but it's not really that kind of hard surface. So I'll black pocket that one. Maybe maybe I'll do like a virus kind of thing. That maybe virus, you know, like. And the whole uh, cyborg thing where it's just been grafted onto the body and it's oh, all disgusting. Funny. Maybe I'll do a sentient uh, jar of soy sauce. You <laughs> never know. That's hard surface, man. That is. It is. Uh, <laughs> people don't realize modeling props is like a hard surface. So if you have a sentient bottle of soy sauce. <laughs> if, example, if, that, if that's what the no, script if, calls if, for. <laughs> if, if that's what it calls for. And I'm sure that like, you know, that's happening. I'm sure it's happening right now. You got to collect reference, guys. Reference, reference, reference. You have Mm -hmm. to get the soy sauce bottle. Hold the soy sauce bottle in your hand and then, like, really look at it and go, like, And you got to watch a lot of Veggie Tales. (laughs) A lot of Veggie Tales. As much Veggie Tales as possible. We're serious. This is the process. You've got to figure that shit out. That's what they're uh, paying you for. We're not making this up. (laughs) It's all real. This is this is actually what they ask is like, how much soy sauce have you had this morning? <laughs> you know, Dude, I actually what, had, had. You know, what's your rate? Uh, uh, when are you? <laughs> like, 
terrible. <laughs> How much soy sauce have you had? How tolerant are you to large you know, intakes of sodium? You know, it matters, guys. It yeah, matters. that's that's the real stuff. Do you get along well with others? Is it okay if others drink gallons of soy sauce a day? How, how much? How many mayo packets can you fit in your pocket? Oh my gosh, that's why they call them packets. Is because right? they're made for pockets. They're made for pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. You're a sick You're a son of a gun. I'm pretty much just focusing like mainly on the head right now but i want to add his little jar soon and i think i'm gonna do that with a cylinder oh boys it's cylinder time here at the creature corner <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt primitive shapes when in out. doubt primitive out primitive Primitives. Primitive. Primitives. Since early man. He's a primitive man, Your Honor. Gonna put a cylinder in his head. Gonna put that cylinder in his head. Right inside his head. He got a cylinder in his head. It's kind of like a jar. <laughs> yeah, yeah ah. we are we are psychos look, look we're just excited because we saw the dinosaurs yeah they were there they were in the movie i thought it was a fun movie man i actually i mean like ultimately like i enjoyed it like there's some parts where i'm like guys uh, let's go and then other parts where i'm like i can't believe you're really just hamming it up yeah full, full cheese bow style it was just goofy. There it was is, a lot. Is, there was a lot of goofy stuff, but it was like the goofiest thing to me. And I just, just an I, action movie um, is is the the hand thing that they do. Yeah, like, dude, that that gets me every time. For, but, and then there is a scene where like Chris they all do it, uh, and then and then everybody's kind of like, there's just like. Everybody, hold on! Hold on! And it's, it's like, it's like, like they're forced. The it's like they're using the force or something. Mm -hmm. and yeah. God, it doesn't work. It just does not work. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, it, it works maybe like once or twice. It was good. Uh, but I had a man, lot of fun with it, though. But uh, uh, I know, I know, and I know. Willful suspension. I'm, I'm, I'm allowing the silliness. Yeah, we're here for it. We're here for the silliness. Just one of those things to where I'm not expecting to go in and actually critique a serious film. You know, no, it's like, no, it's like dude, I'm here. I'm here to see dinosaurs eat people. Yeah, I mean, we <laughs> know, <laughs> that's what I want to do. We all know it, and it feels it's it's okay. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, it it is it is very silly, and that's fun. It's like good silly fun, and and if you're open to like good silly fun. It's just the way forward. Sometimes you got to have a good time, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, a little bit of escapism is not a bad thing. You can't you forget to have fun at you the movies. You there we go. Now I'm going to use some cloth for his little head, head lantern. He's got the little head. He's got a little head lantern. How's everybody else doing? How are you doing out there? Did you see Jurassic Park yet? What did everybody you think? has everybody seen Jurassic Park yet? Oh, I'm sorry, Jurassic Minion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. What? what yeah, what is Ju Jurassic World? It's a uh, it's Dominion. It's, it's Jurassic Kingdom World. I don't know. It's, it's got much. Chris Mario. It's too much, man. It does have Chris Mario in it. It though, does have Chris is, Mario, which is expected. Uh, yeah, you. I mean, you would see this movie for Chris Mario and um, and Bryce. You want to <laughs> Bryce? You want to have you want to have Star Lord hanging out with some blue raptors? That's what yeah. you want. Yeah. Uh, vi visual effects wise, I. 
I thought it was a little spotty. <laughs> the, oh, dude, I'm, I'm actually really, I'm oh, actually yeah. really glad you brought that up, dude. Uh, <laughs> hey, I was, I could, I could, I could tell where their budget went. In yeah, movie. yeah, you could see it. Like, and, um, and dude, some of the animation had me just like. Oh. I was kind of a little shocked that that. Was, I was like, like oh my god, dude! Like, and and that like that it made it through. I, to me, it, it kind of like those problems are are also related to like, hey guys, maybe cut the story down and you can put the budget where it matters, mm-hmm. you know, and and make every frame look good instead of like bloating the whole thing. <laughs> um, so so yeah, man, there are some shots in there. And oh, I, dude, and I, I was I was counting them whenever I was I was like, geez. I mean, you know, you're yeah. we're cursed. We are cursed to that, right? Right. I mean, like, like if like you show regular, it to anybody else, you know, yeah. you it to your, maybe like, yeah, to your like, Uncle oh, Bob. It's a Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob's gonna be like, wow, you <laughs> yeah, know, that's a dinosaur. Did they really put those in there? And <laughs> yeah, you're like, yes, Uncle Bob. They trained a raptor. Yeah. We, this is why this is the first you've heard of it you know, is the movie, is it's real. Um, so, so yeah, the, the budget went to Goldblum. I mean, the guy stole, the guy steals every show he's in. I mean, yeah, he's man, Jeff Goldblum. And, uh, there were, you know, there, there's a scene where they like, like land that, well, it's, well, I guess we can't talk about it. Well, right we, we, well, well, hold off a little bit. Um, but there are oh God, there are just some stuff that like. And dude, could... honestly, the practical effects looked pretty spotty too. Yeah, yeah, no, no lie there either. Um, I was just shocked by that. I was like, huh, you know, this is like the this is the pinnacle franchise of like practical. And this effects. is like the end of the the franchise, you know, yeah. supposedly the end or or whatnot. I mean, I'm ultimately, sure, it I'm looked sure great. I'm sure they like 16 more of these. Yeah, ultimately, you know, I mean, it, it looked great, it looked fine and stuff, but just on that on that hyper level of, of, of whenever whenever you have our job and it's just they are breathing down your necks about every single pixel and every single frame and every single everything, and you see something like that get final, you're like, wow, those shots actually got approved. Like, those, yeah, yeah. So you so you kind of get like a little. <laughs> you're like you. You sons of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like because they put so much pressure on, you know, sometimes you have a, uh, maybe a tough supervisor or something. Yeah. And, um, and they put, they lay it on you. They lay the pressure on you sometimes. And you're, and then you see that stuff and you're like, you sort of, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> it's rough. In like a professional way. Yeah. Um, sure. Sure. In a, yeah. in a sure. so you're just like yeah man i can't believe it and then there's shot the, and then there's like the other side of that where there are shots in there and you're like okay yeah wow you yeah know, i mean that's, that's is... there's the a team there's the a team and there's the b team yeah and uh, that's that's actually something that you start to notice after you get in the industry too like whenever you you're watching like these high level movies, you can point out the ones you're like, Oh, they outsourced those to overseas. Somewhere. Yeah. They weren't able you to know? get, yeah. You know, they're, they're not going to get ILM to do yeah, all of these like 300 team. compositing shots. They're going to have them do the, the crazy stuff. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, ILM is busy. They got a lot of shows going on all at once. So here's a junior. <laughs> Good luck, kid. <laughs> Come on, Junior. Why does it look so bad? He's just a junior, Your Honor. <laughs> He's just an honor, Your Junior. Your Honor. He's just an honor, Your Junior. He's just a. He's just a man. With the face of an animal. Um. What is the best visual effects or animation movie you've recently seen? Um. Well. Like if we're going like the last thing I saw, my kid was watching Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the it. last thing. Like even after Jurassic Park, we were watching Clifford. Um, and actually, I'll tell you on this, the animation on the dog is fantastic. Looks good. He looks really good. Um, 
the, what do you the think animation about the big, is amazing. What do you think it, about and, the big puppy and the he's the... he's a large red uh, dog. No, no, I, I know, I know <laughs> the the rescuers movie. The there oh. was a big puppy in that movie. Oh yeah. What'd you think about that? The rescuers. The well, not rescuers. What's it Chip called? Chip and Dale. Yeah, Chip and Dale. Rescuers was, down under. Those guys. Where was the big dog in that? Yeah, at the very beginning, like Chip or Dale, whichever one, he lives in a house and he's got a regular sized dog that's like huge, right? In oh yeah, tiny, in his tiny little house. I thought the, uh, I, thought the I, animation I thought on he that was tiny really and the dog was normal. I thought that was a normal dog. Well, it's a normal I, dog, but it's huge to him. It's huge to him. Okay, I see. I'm gonna I'm gonna log off. I'll see you tomorrow. He's gonna log off. He's got to go poop. Yeah, it's true. It's all true. <laughs> Matt will be back in a second. So while Matt's going to Tippy Tap Town, I'm going to be working on this guy. I'm trying to get this. Um, this kind of looks like a fin to me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I know it's asymmetrical, but I'll... I'll work symmetrically for now. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. Panic Room. Yeah, Panic Room has amazing CGI in that. Yeah, Rango still holds up. Rango is uh, amazing. It's gorgeous. Avatar is still beautiful. I don't care what people say. It looks gorgeous. Talk to me. How's uh, how's it going? Do you have any questions for me? If we get back. Maybe we'll surprise Matt and I'll we'll show him something fun. I'm gonna make this little fish man. tail now i was working symmetrically in the beginning but now i'm gonna break it Let's see hey jared how you been oh i'm doing good well thanks so much i'm doing real good been busy did i make it to monster palooza yes we went on that saturday uh we had an amazing time uh, didn't get to talk to everybody that i wanted to talk to sometimes uh I, you know there are artists i want to talk to and they're um they're talking to other people so you just kind of make your way around but i love it there my favorite uh favorite time of the year and then I'm, I like to go to Son of Monster Palooza as well. Question How do you keep yourself motivated when you don't feel like it? Um, great question. Um, I, I think motivation, the ter like using motivation as the reason that you're going to sit down and work, um, I, I don't like that. You know what I mean? Um, like, I don't feel motivated um, to, to, to work. I feel compelled. Um, and and the, the idea that um, you have to have something that motivates you, um, I think, is a crutch. Um, if you want to sit and you want to make something, you got to sit down and make it. Um, and, and you do it, uh, you do it every day and it, it becomes, um, like something eventually that you have to do. So it doesn't feel like it's something that you, um, that you feel like, oh, I gotta like motivating the term be like being motivated feels like you're being dragged almost, uh, to go do something. So for me, um, it's, it's not motivation, it's a discipline. 
So if you sit down every day and, and, and block out a chunk of time to work and to, um, and to explore, uh, then eventually it becomes an addiction. It's something you have to do. And then what it becomes is the absence of it uh, becomes almost painful. So if you're not working, you're like, uh, I gotta, uh, I wish I was working. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So I, I don't like to subscribe to, to motivation as, as a thought. Oh, he's back. Um, he's Hello. back. He's back, Matt Millard. I was actually joking whenever I said I'm going to log off. Oh, really? But I went ahead and used the opportunity to let the dog out. So it worked. <laughs> That's good, buddy. See, <laughs> see, it all it all works. It out, all guys. worked out, and we had a nice time. Uh, they were asking me how I keep motivated to work. How do you stay motivated to work? And and um, I was saying, um, I, I don't like the term motivation because it kind of feels like you're being dragged. So that's me. That's me. It's it, it's like if you sit down and you do it every day. Uh, eventually, oh, his, he got the crash. Um, eventually, you become so addicted to working um, that it's something that you have to do. And uh, like flexing the creative muscle, you do that every day, all day, and uh, it's it's going to excite you. And and also, um, another thing is is trying like new things, try new styles try um try like drawing in a comic book style try drawing in a in a stylized style try sculpting something different so it's um yeah what what always what always keeps me involved is um learning new tools right if i'm like man i haven't done yeah. this in a long time or if i want to get back in i'm like like whenever dynamics came out i was like okay well I'm going to start a whole project and just learn how to use the dynamics, you know, yeah, exactly. it gives you. And so like, I mean, ZBrush is releasing new features every single day. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's insane. And so that's the kind of stuff that keeps me like interested, especially if I feel like I've dropped off for a minute. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, like Up. We're losing you, buddy. Did we lose you? Matt's dropping out real quick, but he's making a good point. Losing me. Yes. You want to pop? Here I am. I'm back. Oh. I. Your uh, uh, your stuff exploded. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. You're good. Okay. Oh, you're Here, delayed. Yeah. I might be delayed. Yeah. Why don't you pop? I'm going to hop off. He's going to hop off, hop back in for a second. Um, let's see. Can you talk a little bit about making these high, super high-res characters animatable? Um, you need a – you have to go through the pipeline of, of UV uh, – you know, uh, topology, UV, reprojection, uh, getting that into some kind of uh, 3D software, Blender or Maya or 3ds Max, whatever it is, and you need to uh, apply a rig and skin it, and then uh, uh, animate it. Uh, it's a long process, um, and done by people who are much much smarter than I am. Yeah, you got to talk with Savini. That's cool. Savini is a legend. And Geo is also a legend. He's incredible. Let's see. There you are, buddy. You back? I can you hear me? I you sound like an elf. Thank you. That's great. Um, but we can hear you. <laughs> Do I sound like an elf? Uh, I think I sound more elfish than you. I think you sound soothing sound hey thanks for joining us on creature corner <laughs> just listen to the sultry sounds of <laughs> uh, 
Um, let's see. I mean, lots of great questions. Keep keep the questions coming, guys. Yeah, keep them coming. Awesome. I've missed I've missed out on a bunch of them. So let's yeah. See what's uh, going on. As a ZBrush beginner, I'm able to make basic forms and shapes. What steps should I take to learn detailing? How do I increase my skill set and level? Um, it starts with basic forms and shapes uh, first. Um, I would say start doing studies. Um, sculpt a hand sculpt a head um take a block of uh you know take a cube and sculpt a, a pair of lips or an eye or you know something like that like do a study first study the hands um hands are difficult to sculpt so if you can get good at sculpting hands um it, you will improve um so start start small uh, little studies like do a head study um maybe do a likeness study um, try to sculpt an actor's face and, and realize yeah. what that's like, you know, um, you're describing the class that I'm basically, that I, that I'm I basically took saying you. take my class. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, that's a, yeah, that, that's what Jared but has. I mean, that's do. what I, mean, I teach is, it, yeah. you know, it, it's the basic start simple and then build to complex. And you can uh, also, you can also learn real quick what your strong points are doing those exercises, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like big, like big time. You're like, okay. And you know, ultimately you always have to study anatomy and you're going to be really bad at it until you have a lot of hours, you know, yeah. behind you. Like, that's just how it works, man. It, everything, everything takes a long time, but you've got to be that's, passionate. That's why I like, you got to be passionate about it. That's why it's called it. mastery is because you, you have to do it over and over and over. Yeah. Um, it, it's not a, there's no shortcut. I'm sorry. Uh, to just like getting amazing, um, you know, but now if I was young, if I was a young and I'd say start young and, and, you know, um, and follow your passion, follow your passion, follow your passion and your passion will be one. Um, let's see. Do you struggle with making mechanical designs logical? How do you get around it? Uh, what I found is that um, don't try to make it logical. Like, don't think about um, making every single mechanical piece feel uh, like it's going to work. Um, I'm not an engineer. I'm a designer, like a, a creative person. So I'm trying to come up with cool shapes and, and yeah. make it look functional. And if it looks functional, we'll believe it. Um, you know, you know what? You if know, it looks if it looks cool, right? If it, if looks, it, cool, lo if mean, it looks good, it is good. Yeah. You know, it all gets solved in production. Uh, that's not to say don't do your research because it can be a pain. But yeah, I mean, it's exactly what Jared's saying. Like you're a designer, right? It's got to look sick. Yeah, it's got to look sweet. I mean, first and foremost, because uh, you're trying to. Uh, most of the time, you're trying to sell toys. Yeah. You know, you're if you're working on a really cool character that's like. Um, a popular property or something you're you're trying to sell you're trying to sell multi levels of people on it you're trying to sell toys you're trying to sell marketing you're trying to sell uh you know all that stuff um but like yeah don't don't worry on don't worry about function just make it look just make it look cool yeah soy sauce robots <laughs> let's go soy, soy. Soy, 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 soy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> soy, soy, soy. Come to Creature Corner. Learn Get your soy on. A for the soy. Get your soy on. We didn't even say we were going to smell a horse yet. I know, dude. We gotta beat those equestrian sniffers that everybody wants. Uh, like Jared, when are you guys gonna smell a horse? Like I hear it every day. People every ask day. me, you even when talk, I, you guys I talk to, all yeah. day, and then like nobody it's, smells a horse. It's messed up, dude. It's not cool. It's not cool, guys. You can't get away with not smelling a horse. <laughs> you look, my friends, your friends. We're going to get together and smell a horse. We're going to go smell some horses. <laughs> uh, 
It's a rotting smell. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, nice question. Uh, oh, someone enjoyed my reading recommendations. Uh, I've enjoyed your reading recommendations in the past. The Sculptor and the Secret Pulse of Time. Um, anything new on your list? Oh, great. That's great. Um, well, recently I read Revival by Stephen King. Oh, nice. I, I think I remember that. That well, I mean, that was a while back, right? It was a while back. That was like the yeah. last last book I got to read. Um, we'll see. Yeah, read a, a revival by Stephen King. Um, this one is brutal, buddy. This is a great read. Um, nice. It's slow. Um, it's slow up until the third act, and then Manny punches you in the face. That's uh, that's how he is, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's fantastic, and it's a great read. And and um, it, I heard it was it was going to be adapted uh, to a series by Mike Flanagan, the guy who did uh, Midnight Mass. Ooh, he was going to adapt. Fan. Dude, he was going to adapt this, and then Midnight Mass ended up happening, and so he abandoned it. Um, that, I mean, they're, they're kind of like thematically close, um, but, uh, different, I think totally in their impact. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I think revival is really strong. Um, let's see, sculptor, secret pulse of time. Um, what's another good one? Oh, um, this is an older book. Let me go grab it. He's going to go grab that book. Yeah. I had to grab the book. Okay, coming up. But, like, it's good to read books. Books are good. Uh, Evolve Your Brain. I really like this book by Joe Dispenza. Oh, Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan. No, not that. No. <laughs> It's an older book, uh, you know, like a couple years, you know, 10 years ago, I think. Um, but this is a great book. Um, it's about neuroplasticity, which is, you know, just a great thrilling topic to read on <laughs> uh, for us creature guys. Um, but it is, it's, it's actually a really good book. Um, he's, he's talking about how, uh, you know, our, how our brains form connections and um how we can essentially kind of harness that um to 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 heal faster live longer heal faster live longer it's a scientology book in case it you is guys were not <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm really sorry for making that jazz insensitive i don't want i don't want to be associated with <laughs> no other um but that's a fantastic book. I love that. Um, I have experience in ZBrush, Maya, and 3DS, but don't have experience in the field. Where should I look for employment aside from Indeed that will cater to someone in a similar position? Good question. Um, one is, um, do you have your portfolio, real website, um, art station accounts readily available? Right. Um, Indeed is one place to look. Um, I think uh, you should also have LinkedIn um, to some degree. Uh, you need because they're like, look, the people who are going to hire you aren't artists. They're they're right. like, they're HR. They're they're producers. They're yeah. They're recruiters. They're recruiters. They're 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 they're, yeah. they're, um, they're headhunters. Um, they're also called talent acquisition. Mm -hmm. that's a that's a uh, a corporate speak term that they use um so you want to look for those people um and then like be nice um don't spam them don't be abusive um but connect connect to them online and, and send them your work um <clears throat> indeed is good uh most of the job listings <clears throat> uh for cg artists um, excuse me, 
Um, they're all on either Indeed, LinkedIn, Google Jobs, uh, things like that, company websites. Um, they will usually list some kind of job opening that they have. Um, the other thing is your networking, um, other friends and and who are also in the community who are working as well. Reach out to them and see if they have um, if they know of anything that's open. Uh, the question I, I think is also like, what do you want to do? Uh, because just because you have experience in the software, like what what where do you want to go? Do you want to go to like motion graphics? Do you want to do character work? Um, so you have to show you know a, a portfolio that's uh, that's along those lines. Um, let's see. But yeah, I, uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is always great. Matt, what's going on? That looks gnarly. What's going on with me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you are working on a crab man. I think I am lagging yet again. You are lagging again. Are you That's pop? okay. It's the... It's the dy it's the dynamesh. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, he's back. We're back. Okay. Um let's see. Since CGI is getting worse in big budget films, where do you CGI see CGI in, in the next uh, fifty years? I don't think CGI is getting worse in big budget movies. Um, I think they're getting worse about producing them. Um, you know, CGI is a tool. It's a cudgel. Um, how you use it um, is um, largely due to the director. Um, uh, I, I think a lot of decisions come through the director and um, and they're kind of like ultimately responsible for the whole film. Um, and, and so like, I think what happens is a lot of movies are just bloated. Um, and, and so they, they save their money for the money shots and then they save, uh, you know, and then some other shots are farmed out. Um, look, when your entire movie, when your entire movie is, um, you know, is CGI. It's essentially, a, you know, an animated movie. Um, so, like, look, it, it's not getting worse. It's actually, it's looking, um, you know, CGI is getting better all the time. Um, it's just like how you use it. Uh, look at Prehistoric Planet on Apple. That that whole thing is gorgeous. It's like, do the question is like, with artists, with, with CGI, it's like, do you have enough time? Do you have enough time to get this done? Your client, are they making a lot of iterative changes? You know, are they changing their mind constantly? Um, or like, is the is the budget bloated? Um, like, is the uh, you know is the is the plot bloated? Like, where could you save money? Um, so, like, when we talk about some of the spotty CGI in um, in in uh, fallen or fallen kingdom or dominion sorry um <laughs> when we talk about like, the bad cgi in that i think that's purely because they're they're they just ran out of money um that's my thought it's it, it, they ran out of time or money i and usually it's both i mean yeah it, it's definitely both but it's more so just what do we have to compare to now, right? We have a million examples of incredible CG. Whereas whenever we were younger, it was like, oh, CG is brand new. Yeah. And everything looks good, right? So now that people, you know, in the generation after us have grown up with so many incredible films that already look amazing and how they remember them and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, it just has that effect, you know, like, there's an oversaturation now. So it's very, it's, so it's easy to critique. Right. I mean, and also like, yeah, it's oversaturated. Um, and, and the, the, the language of it is, is also 
like most people can look and see when that's CGI and they'll say, oh, it's CGI. Right. Um, and they don't really know what that means other than exactly. like, it, it, it was made in a computer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they don't know the extent that it's made in a computer, but it is, you know, they, they understand enough for that. Um, and so like, yeah, we, we're all familiar with that language. We've all seen bad CGI. Um, and then good CGI, you would never even notice. Yeah. Most people don't notice uh, Ted Lasso, for example. Um, most of the stadiums in that were CGI. And you, uh, they CGI the crowds in because that was during a pandemic, and most people would never know. Well, that's um, that's actually the stuff they don't notice in like Jurassic Park too. Yeah, right? exactly. Like all of the matte paintings, all of the incredible environments, like all of that looks convincing. You know, it's animation is where everything's going to fall apart right yeah uh yeah uh, uh, animation and compositing I, th I think those are the two big places where things fall apart um animation tells you kind of everything and then also if it just doesn't look like it sits in the shot yeah for sure it stands out that pulls your focus so obviously you're going to see it but there are plenty of there's plenty of cgi that you don't even notice that's happening all around you mm -hmm. and so I think in in Dominion's case, uh, they could have just cut some stuff and saved the money and put it elsewhere. Um, but that that's a big movie and it's made by committee. There's a lot of lot of people involved, and you have a lot of people to make happy. And sometimes that means changes are made um, up until the very last minute that the um, that the movie comes out. Oh yeah, man until the I mean, very last you know nanosecond that you can squeeze that out and that's what their pipelines are built for too is just like okay until the last minute here you go spit it out onto the farm here you go run it through the script 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 here you go here you go here you go here you go here you go. Um, let's see, the thing about clients changing their minds is the thing I deal with all the time. I want you to have this two weeks. Actually, I want you to have this in two days now. Yeah, um, that that's also common, uh, and sometimes it can't be helped because, like, clients. All you have to remember that your client, whether they're the producer, the director, um, whoever, they also have presentations to make. Um, they're also going to meetings and they're presenting to investors and um, uh, people who are going to actually pay for the movie. Uh, they're, they're, so they have people to please as well. Um, you know, directors are, you're, you're threading a million different needles there because you're, you're trying to make fans happy. You're trying to make the movie that's in your head. And then also you have money to please and money is what makes the movie happen yeah so no no money no movie um so you you have a lot of people to please and so it's also important to remember that your work is um is going to be seen by a lot of people and sometimes you know the one person who says no is going to say no um let's see the shark and suicide squad looks good but the animation kills it i don't know i i thought he all looked amazing dude i thought yeah, yeah i thought I, King I, shark I looked awesome uh, he um, looked he looked great and i i didn't see anything the the that whole movie is a really gorgeous yeah <laughs> I, 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 I don't necessarily agree with you the suicide squad looked great and, um you know gun knows how to direct visual effects but see that's that's kind of like the that's kind of the thing right like i don't know and then people I, say, you know, practical is better. And then they go back to old practical and they're like, well, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Until you see a movie with practical effects and then you're like, oh, okay, I understand, you know, like, dude, the thing, it's a, I it's mean, a, yeah. Like the thing is like the spectacle of practical effects for creatures. Right. Yeah. I mean, and it, it looks it's, awesome. It's, it's but the whenever, Jurassic Park of, of monster film. Yeah. But whenever yeah. you watch it, you're like, yes, that's, that is easily practical effects. Right. Like, it's just what it looks like. It doesn't. It doesn't have that fluidity. And it's, also, uh, like humans love to just point out what's what's not real. Like we yeah. just like to do that because I I think that that's also part of the human condition of like 
if it's not real, then I'm safe. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if, if I can, if I can find the flaw, if I can see the magic trick, uh, it means that I'm not, you know, uh, going to get fooled. You can't fool me. You can't fool me, Your Honor. You, you can't fool me, your doctor. You're a doctor, aren't you, doctor? Yeah. That man is 10 doctors. That man is 10 doctors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that man is 10 doctors and a baby. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> uh, I like it. Is it easier to get into modeling, sculpting, texturing than getting to tell stories? Well, like... Uh, I mean, from experience, um, when I when I came out um, after I finished college, I came home and I, you know I lived in California, but I came home and I started up a production company with a couple of buddies, and we had stories to tell, and we developed a lot of content, um, and we went around and we pitched that content, and um, we got a lot of no's. It's very hard to get to tell stories, um, and you got to work your way up. Um, same thing. So uh, we we wrote a lot of scripts. We developed a lot of projects. Um, I, I did a lot of art, um, but it just wasn't up to the the it wasn't up to par yet. Um, so you know, I had to I had to learn a lot of stuff. I had to learn about the business itself, the 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 business of show. I had to learn how to make the art. I had to learn how to um, you know get my name out there and get my name on projects and start working on things and meet people and all that stuff. It takes time. Um, so now when I, when I see interviews with directors and they're like, you know, blah, 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 director didn't direct his first movie till he was 50 or 60. Mm -hmm. um, you, you kind of get it now because it's very hard. And when you're young, uh, uh, you know, when I was trying to, you know, do this stuff and break in, um, it's very hard because no one takes you seriously. You don't have a name. Uh, you don't have anything to your credit. Um, why would I give you money? <laughs> you know, why would I give you a lot of money for nothing? So uh, it takes time. You have to work your way up to it. But also, like, if you want to tell stories, you've got to learn to write. That's that's just it. Uh, writing is another craft, just like making creatures. It's uh, it takes a lot of time and you have to practice it. And if you want to do that, you have to do just that. Um, I, I write as a hobby. I've written two scripts so far. Uh, one I developed with Matt and some friends. And, um, and then I wrote a short film and uh, storyboarded that short film. And we're still working on that. We're waiting for my wife to free up from work so we can start planning yeah, that one was cool, man. Was that the one that I read? That I read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll mm -hmm. still, we'll still keep you posted on that, we're buddy. We're still working on it. We're still working on it. Um, nice. And uh, uh, so we're 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 still planning on it. Um, I've been working on the design, uh, generating art for it. I'm going to work on um, the pitch packet and all that stuff. Um, you know, start working on the marketing campaign. So we'll we'll uh, we'll even use Creature Corner as a production diary. So we'll we'll get to talk about it. It'll be really oh, yeah, cool. that's dope. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited, and uh, I'm I'm hopefully uh, get our audience involved, and and so you guys get to see the process of like how we how we're trying to get something made. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, like look, if you want to tell stories on that level, man, it just takes time. It is hard. Uh, the hardest part is like money, getting money for, for stuff. Now, if you're young, uh, go out there and shoot something with your phone and try and edit something together. Like TikTok, like hell, people are telling stories on TikTok and getting famous that way. If that's what you want to do. If that's what you're into now. If that's what you're into now. My guy's kind of like a lumpy. He's like a little lumpy. I get lumpy. He's got a little lumpy. Oh, I you're just gnarly. Get... I'm just trying to see how he's looking. He's, oh, he's, getting, he's getting crazy. 
you uh you pop your boy into into key shot so early and it's such a you okay. just gotta I gotta you just you gotta see how the yeah you gotta see how the forms start looking you gotta here see you how can, the forms start looking you can make all your decisions based off of this I mean there we go you gotta find that right camera angle and then you can just okay what do I like and what do I not like right if I do have a short story, but less resources and limited time and budget, how can I make it work? Do I have to do a one man approach army routine or can I approach studios and pitch ideas? Um, like here's the thing is like you, people talk about going to pitch to the studios. It's, it's very hard to yeah. get in. <laughs> like you, there are gatekeepers and, and agents and managers and people you got to go through. Um, don't submit any story or script unsolicited um, because they just throw that into the trash. Um, if you submit that via email, they delete it because there's liability on their part that if they make something and you are like, hey, that's that was my idea. I, you know, I sent them that idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're um, you know, they'll, uh, they don't want to get sued, so they're not going to look at your, your unsolicited script. Um, so you have to get a manager, um, someone who will submit it for you that has credibility. Um, you can get an entertainment lawyer and pay an entertainment lawyer to submit it. Um, you know, they will um, they will look at it if it's from an entertainment lawyer because they know an entertainment lawyer has, um, you know, the legal background um, and that you're, you know, you're not going to sue. Um, but even then, that might be difficult as well. Uh, also, like a lot of these studios, they have their own content and projects that they're developed and make, you know, so it's like not, they might not even necessarily be able to make your thing, even if it is a great idea. There's a lot of reasons why things don't get made or, um, you know, people say no all the time. Money falls through. Making a film is like a crazy endeavor. And yeah. I, and then I really you can don't also... think realize that. You can also like sell the rights to your film and it can never get made or it can get made 10 years later with everything being completely different. Than completely that. different. And, um, yeah. and, and your, your credit would be scrubbed or, you know, um, there's a lot of reasons why. So you got to protect yourself both legally and, um, you know, in, with your intellectual property, make sure that you get, if you write any script, you get it, um, uh, you get it certified, you know, with the WGA, um, you can um, uh, you, you can register your script that way. You, you can also do it with uh, the Library of Congress, uh, but you have to get some kind of major protection on your script that that will help it be legitimate. Um, but it's hard, man. I've been trying to get something made for fifteen years. We'll you know, get there. Maybe even cool. before that. You know, I've I've, I've made a lot of uh, pitch packets. I uh, pitched a lot of times, um, and uh, it's hard. It's just hard to get something made. But uh, that that is the journey, right? Like you want to get something made, and ultimately, I decided I need um, you know I need a job, so I'm going to learn how to do something you know to to help me make money while I try and get this stuff made. Lo and behold, visual effects and monsters. I was Lo like, and behold. I was like, well, hell, I'll just learn to make monsters and that'll be sweet. And so slowly but surely, I've been, you know, amassing my friends and um, getting them excited about, about the short film and trying stuff that way. Yeah, I'm hoping I can take a take some time off here for the for a couple of months and work on some of my stuff too and i need to get back into the garage and be printing yeah you got some print stuff like that but you know man. and and matt and i um you know and we want to do a booth at monster palooza at some point yeah that would be awesome you know uh uh and and do some other stuff like that so like there's always like a million things that we want to do you guys would come hang out with us at monster would you palooza. come hang out with us i don't know would you share your milk with us? Would you bring some dairy to our table? Could you bring 
at least two gallons of milk the monster palooza all right check it out this is where i'm at for my Dude, block in. it's looking good right it's looking really good I like the I like the the bonus no spotlight version. He looks a little scary, a little scary. but I like the I like the direction. I feel like uh, I feel like it's a definitely a solid block in to keep messing around with. I mean, honestly, at this point, like a lot of times, and I mean, especially whenever we were working at uh, ASC, it'd be like you get like three or four hours of blocks up, man. Then you're just painting over stuff and rendering things out. You're just going as fast as you can. I think uh, you're going really, really fast. Yeah, I, I think if we had a day turnaround, this is probably where I would end, and then I would just go straight into Photoshop, start photo bashing stuff, start rendering out some tileable texture passes, uh, stuff like that. I mean, we'd be assembling stuff from other parts and pieces and kit bashing, and you know, very, very tight deadline. It's a monster bash. It's a monster mash. I'm going to start pumping up, pump up the light. <laughs> I've never been to Monster Palooza, but I'd bring you some oat milk and chocolate chip cookies for sure. <laughs> Man, that sounds so nice. Do you use assets in your sculpts or hand sculpt everything from scratch every time? Absolutely. Absolutely, always. yeah. Always reusing as much Always. as you can. As much as you can. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> there is no shame in that, man. You've gotta you've gotta crank it out. And if you've already spent all the time, or if you've already spent all the money on a base. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, bring it in and keep going. Like people are paying you to create ideas, not spend four days on uh, a human and uh, like a base, like a right? perfect shoe or something. Yeah. You know, like you you have to ask yourself like if you if you have a, a very short amount of time mm -hmm. you need um you need to to think as fast as you can and get everything done because um uh, it'll sneak up on you it's so, gonna sneak up on it's you gonna sneak it's gonna sneak um yeah uh, uh so I'll, I'll go shopping i'll download things i'll purchase packs i'll um uh, kit bash, whatever you need. Uh, it's all there in service of like getting, getting it done. And, uh, that's, you know, it's true in studios too. They do a lot of the same thing. A lot of the same honor, your honor. A lot of the same doctor, your honor. And a lot of the same doctor, your honor. Your honor. I'm just trying to bring you some oat milk and chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> That's right. Come hang out with us. Tell us your milk stories. <laughs> Show me your milk, brother. My God, that man's got a lot of milk. My God. Can you believe it? There we go. So now I've got some lighting in there. Oh, did you bring your dude in? Oh, he's translucent, baby. He's got translucent little baby arms. He's translucent, baby. He's got translucent little baby arms. Oh. See, it's good fun. It's all it's always. Good. It's always good fun. Always That's the most important fun. part. In this job, you've got to have fun, man. That's how it works. It's like the best part, man, is just sitting down and be like, what am I working on today? Oh, that face is amazing. Hold on. Hold on. Show me that face. That is going. spectacular. We're going that in. Face. He's going to be he's going to be scary. <laughs> Not for death space, but for his face. Save undo history. What am I? A, a, <laughs> some sort what am of I? casual Z brusher? Yeah. Like, what uh, is going on here? Uh, who do you think I am? What is going on? 
quick save. Skip history. Opti- like, see, why is a... <laughs> why is it happening? Why? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'll say it. <laughs> oh, no. This is Jared Leto's face. Oh, it is Jared Leto's face. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know if you know that, but he's uh, he's Morbius. It's true. Whenever, whenever I worked on it, we got that sweet, sweet scream face. That's really fun. I always love. Uh, I always love getting scan data. Oh, dude, uh, it's, it's it's awesome. It's kind of the best. Yeah, uh, of course. Because, like, especially if it's a if it's a known actor or. Um, you know, even even if it's not like you're just like, wow, yeah. we can take someone's whole body and just put them in the computer now mm-hmm. and I can turn you into a wicked ass monster. That yeah, is just see, the coolest. I could just draw a bunch of spider eyeballs on here. It's going to get gnarly. I think that's um, I think that's a good idea. I, I See, I'm, I'm into good ideas and I'm into gnarly. And I know that we share that. We share that sentiment. You like gnarly, and I like gnarly. Yeah, I mean gnarly's good, right? You know who doesn't like gnarly? Who? David Olson. Oh, David. Oh, David. Uh, we're gonna try and get him on the stream. I'm gonna try and bring David Olson on the stream. We got we're a couple people we're trying to get on the stream. We've talked to several there's, people. There's some people that we would like to get on the stream. That we're working on. We're working Turns out on it takes time uh, uh, to get people to agree to um, come on here, and I and I think it's because I don't offer them cookies. And you know, someone mentioned oat milk. That's also a good thing to just just to think about. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, like maybe if I sent like a a, a muffin basket with some oat milk. <laughs> oh, I I know I shared this with you many moons ago. I found it out by accident. You probably already know it. But if you have like the move brush. Whoops. Sorry. The move topological brush. Move topological. And, take, and you take it down to the size of one. You can just kind of move. A oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? I do that all the time. I'll just kind of. Just kind of move that guy into there. He's having a little nice time. That's what we like. You know. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that pattern. Oh, my God. It already created the, the little hexagon pattern that we Isn't that need. beautiful? It's a beautiful thing. So we'll go here. We'll grab this color. Look at him. He looks great. He's going to fill that document. We're going to Paint Town. Just a little bit of he hap and the hemi hems. Everybody knows what that means. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Matt and I, we developed a whole story. Yeah, we did. We developed a whole story and we wrote a whole screenplay about it. Over over many lunch breaks. And it many all started it, it all started with one joke. <laughs> and it like and and that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah. And uh you know I, I think we're due for another uh, look at it and another rewrite. Yeah, I you know I, I would like to do some some design stuff on it too, just to get some different. Oh, totally. Every everything everything new, everything different, and just I mean, fuck, it's a it's a fun idea. You know? It's a really and, fun uh, idea, and um, and we spent a lot of time it's on one it. One that we're like we're gonna make it at some point. It's gonna happen. I mean, it's. <laughs> It's, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. It's definitely going to happen. Definitely going to happen. If it's, you know, five years, two ten years, years, ten years, it's going to happen. 15, like, it's not going to be 15 years. It's going to be, like, within 10 years. No, I mean, hopefully I'll make, you know, $7 million this year, and uh, and then we can just make it. Oh, well, then we can just make it. Then we can just make it. And, and that's that's kind of, like, why I settled on a short film. Because I was like, if we could just make one thing. Just just a single thing. Just one simple thing. 
Oh, yeah. It might be. He's got a scary face now. It's ridiculous. Oh, he's got, yeah, dude. That that, that really brought up the level. What are you doing with the scary? And you know he's going to have, he's going to have some more. This mandible here, that's probably going to have to move in. It's probably going to have to move in right here. Maybe I'll push up his lip a little bit. And in a later stream, we'll have it just kind of... I've got to say, with the AI prompt, it's, it was like a perfect uh, reference for, yeah. for, like, for like 20 minutes I was looking at it. The rest of it's all just been like, okay, well, now I have my direction, right? It's like you were talking about. It's like I have yeah, a little bit yeah, of a yeah. direction I can go off of. Now I can it do my mean, shit. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you have to like stick to it. It's just kind of like, here's here's a path and sometimes that's the hardest thing is just like finding anything that you're gonna do to yeah and there will be times where you'll just start to panic you're like i can't especially if you're in a crunch if you're in a crunch it's like yeah I can't. yeah you know you get a little right. you get a little trippy yeah you and you don't want to spiral because right. that's when it gets bad and you're like oh i can't think of anything Will I ever think of anything ever again? <laughs> you know, because you, you do that. You do that to yourself, and you're like, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know there. if I'm an artist. Am I even an artist anymore? Why do people pay me? <laughs> Why do people pay me? Who am I? So I'm kind of doing the same thing, just like finding happy accidents in the in the reference and then letting that kind of guide me, but not like dictate like you have to make this exactly. Yeah, that. exactly. It's a it's a perfect tool for for that, you know, that brain fart, right? Yeah, we, we were talking about a, a blank pain syndrome. You know, uh, sitting down and being like, what the hell do I do? I hear some borking. You hear the borks. It's time for their uh, nightly uh, uh, borking, borking pee. Dude, there you go. Look at that. I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward. Might even have to screw around and like do a scary attic scenario for this guy. You know what I mean? Pull in some uh, mega scans or something. Yeah, get some mega scans in there, make it all creepy. I think an attic would be really cool. Right. Oh, you dude! Know, without the like attics, with, cellars. Without the spotlight, is nice. Let's turn that off. And now see, now I can see like, <clears throat> there's just something like in the silhouette, it looks great, but there's this, this leg right here is just bothering me. This is the artist in you, right? Like you can't, you can't let it go. You're like, okay, but that's also why I put it in the key shot and get the shot. I'm like, okay, I like this a lot. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to move this damn leg. I'm going to move that leg. I'm going to move that leg. I'm going to make sure that leg. leg. <laughs> We're serious people. I am a very serious. And it, the thing about it is that we're adults, which is yeah. the most important part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Absolutely. That's what's crazy. That's Can what's crazy. And, and, um, <laughs> Can you believe it? We're adults. We're adults. <laughs> I have a child. Like weird i'm just that guy making monsters i'm that guy in the back of the class drawing monsters not paying attention oh man i got in so much trouble i went to private school dude oh okay and whenever <clears throat> so <laughs> you know uh without being any sort of political or religious at all um there was a there was a time where 
my teachers were aware that I liked to draw in class and I like to draw gnarly things. And I'm a kid. I'm talking, you know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade. And ever since I was born, I was just drawing weird stuff. <clears throat> and I was a huge Mortal Kombat player still am to this day. But there was, whenever we started to get into middle school, I started to take the art classes like seriously, right? And they're like, oh, this is charcoal, this is pastel, or do all this cool stuff. And one of the assignments was to draw a horse. And so, I, and speaking of smelling horses, uh, I drew, <laughs> I drew, I, some horses. Let me I drew this, I drew this masterpiece of a horse. It had to be, oh man, had to be fifth grade, maybe Miss Robert was my teacher's name. And, uh, you know, I had done a good job on it and I wanted to take it home and finish it. And so I asked the teacher, I was like, Hey, can I take this drawing home and finish it? And she said, no, you can't, because I know that whenever you take it home, you'll just make it some, you know, gruesome thing. And that wasn't my intention. I wanted to make the horse look really good. And so after she said that, I sat there and I bartered with her and, you know, back and forth. I was like, let me take it home. Let me finish it. She was like, fine. But since she brought that shit up, I went home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and I think uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 had just come out and the brutalities where everything just explodes into bones and rib cages. <laughs> I just erased the entire horse <laughs> and just made the horse explode into a million bones and rib cages, boys and girls. And now I get paid to design creatures. So, <laughs> and, uh, 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 What was her reaction when you brought it back? She was absolutely pissed. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Good, good. Um, I had seen on Twitter uh, uh, a few weeks ago, someone had said their kid got in trouble for drawing monsters. And I chimed in and I said, Dude, uh, on, yeah, man. I got in trouble all the time too. And now they pay me for it. Yeah. So, so good. Mm, so good. So good. You know, that, like, yeah, dude, that, that was, that was my whole life was getting into trouble. I mean, in high school and in middle school. Oh yeah just just drawing right the thing the thing about me though is like i got in trouble for drawing you know like gnarly stuff it was yeah, never yeah. it was never perverse or violent like i'm gonna kill someone it was just like i love resident evil and mortal Kombat, so everything i draw is gonna be this crazy monster combo right and that's the best part about it man if you got a knack if you if you love it, listen to it, right? Listen yeah, to it. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it's kind of remarkable. Um, follow your passion. Follow your curiosity. You know, see where it leads you. It, we don't all, like, we don't all want the same thing either. Um, like, you... You might want to make creatures, but you might want to use like Houdini to do it. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Uh, you want to make creatures, and you want to do it using uh, Blender. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, you want to make? You just want to draw sweet creatures. Awesome. Even better. Just make something. Put something into the world. You know. Make something dope and do it make, over and over again. And then do that on repeat, and you'll feel pretty good about yourself. We're going to extrude the poly loop here. There we go. Trying to make something like kind of like jellyfishy. Uh, material? Oh, yeah. You mean? Um, yeah, just modeling. For, bro, are you making him a hat? Uh, he's got like a jar head. I'm like, not going to say that it looks like a hat, but it might. It, it's like it's that. look man it's uh it, it's a, <laughs> listen guys <laughs> it's a hat it's not what you think it is okay it's exactly what you think it is yeah it's like a it's a fleshy gelatinous uh yeah because I'm, I'm gonna put some lights i think in his head oh man like that dude what is that like, fish the most amazing fish 
where you can see through its entire. Oh yeah, the transparent. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just right where the mouth starts. You can see the whole thing. You see the eyes, all that stuff. It just looks like little pilot is in there. But, yeah, yeah I mean, that, it looks like there's a little dude yeah, in there. That, that, uh, that uh, this is the yeah track. yeah that that's the one. It's it's, it's called, called barrel barrel eye. Oh, uh, that's right, the barrel eye. Uh, yeah, look at that, barrel, look, that picture that, right there. Yeah. Uh, 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 there, there he is. Yeah, he yeah. looks like there looks like there's a dude in there, like yeah. piloting his little. It's like a whole universe. It's so cool. Also, note how excited we are about this image. This he is has the level. This is like God sakes. This is the level you need to be at. You need to be and, looking and at pictures like this, like, <laughs> like what? You what I love is that, like, look, you can see his total brain. But then his face is like Jim Henson Muppet. Yeah, but also those aren't his eyes, right? The yellow, the green, the green orbs are his eyes. They actually face up. These are his eyes, and those are his false eyes. Because they're they yeah. cause they face mm -hmm. up through the oh, because he's looking up at the surface. Yeah, yeah. So that, it's in that, that wild, wild. In no, that wild, oh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and these are his little false eyes and they mm -hmm. make him look like a little Jim they Henson. Man. Yeah, they make him look like what? a Jim Henson man. Yeah, dude. That's the real ah, deal. I love him so much. He's a uh, wonderful that, there man. There he looks terrifying. It's scary. That's like that's pretty God, that's amazing. See, nature is amazing, and that's pretty cool. And that's where we get uh everything. We get everything from there. We did everything. We did all of it, you guys. Um, your Honor. For the love of God, Your Honor. Your Honor, the man has Jorn Bjorgensons. <laughs> He's got Jorn Bjorgensons. I don't know. He, he does, okay? He does have it. We don't have to know that he has it. It could be like a big reveal at the end. <laughs> It's it's just it's just his little medical sheet at the end of his patient bed. He's got I don't even know what the hell he said. Mjorn Borgensons. Yeah, it's a close up of the EKG. <laughs> <laughs> he perished from Mjorn Borgensons, Your Honor. But then he like comes back and it's like he's like a Frankenstein and he comes back and it's like. <laughs> kind of seems like a cat from the hospital. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tears it open. Yeah, now hey, he's infecting everybody with Jorn Bjorgensons. He's got Borgensons. That's the that's the worst part. Is that it's the Jorn variation of Borgensons. Oh God! And it just like it's oh, it's crazy. Isn't that bad? It's bad that he has that. It's it's pretty bad. Um, so I was. Thinking, it's it's pretty bad. Nice, it's pretty bad. <laughs> some Tim, it's some Tim stuff. It's pretty bad. Guys, it's pretty bad situation here. Thanks for tuning in, and um, tolerating us. We like to have fun. We like to have fun. We're like we're having a good time. We're making friends. We're getting we're weird. Fun. We're being weird. Like, that's important. It's important to understand that we're all a little weird. Oh, yeah. You've and it's, gotta be you know, weird. that's community. That's what community is about. You've got to be weird. You got to be a those little are, weird. Those are the facts. Got to be weird. Got to be weird. That's how, that's, how you get, that's how you get good, really. Get good. Get Scrub. good. Scrub. Scrub. <laughs> get scrub a love. Okay, smoky. How do I get good? Well, you got to uh, you got to learn Blender and then scrub your arm. <laughs> Have you ever made a donut in Blender? <laughs> At, asking for a friend. No one's ever made. Uh, Matthew, how what would how would you name your creature? How would I name my creature? Yeah, your guy right now. What is, is someone asking? Matthew, how would you name this creature? I would call this. Uh, more than likely, his name would be Tim. Uh, probably Tim. Oh, it'd wow. probably that'd... be Tim. Yeah, that's like a gnarly. 
I'd love Thank to you, see bro. like more eyeballs. Yeah, I've got some eyeballs here. Yeah. But we need to get them. I, but have you thought about like, yeah, like a lot of eyeballs? Just everywhere. I, I think like a, a lot of like people. like a like a gradient of eyeballs. I think so. Back. Yeah, no, that, that's a really good idea. And I'll one thing I would do is I want to take these teeth and just kind of like I want to make the teeth just just go like. You know what I mean? Just like yeah. molting over the entire flesh you, like that. Are you considering uh, multiple rows of teeth? Yeah. I'm, well, what I want to do is separate them out and have them being bigger and larger and then eventually turning into uh, a mandible, tarantula mandible. So I would call them tarantula termantula. And mantula. Termantula? Mantula. <laughs> He's man. He, tor, tor, torment. Tim. Tormentula. Tim. Mantula. Tim Mantula. He's a Tim Mantula. But like, oh. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah okay. see? See what I okay. did? I mean, so it. it's his first I'm name in and the genus and the species. It's the Tim Mantula. That's what we're doing. I'm I'm going to call this guy Ruddy Guffins. <laughs> Tim from Accounting has gone through some shit. Hell yeah. Wait, wait what is your dude's name? <laughs> uh, Ruddy Guffins. <laughs> Dude, he kind of he looks like a pope. I'm not going to lie. He's a little bit popey. He, he feel well, not, not popey, but he's like, he's like an important figure, dude. Right? I think, I think he's, he's political in some sort of way. He's trying to tell you how to... He's like one of those guys in in the Star Wars prequel movies. He's like, I think, oh, the, yeah, bro. <laughs> I think the Empire should run the entire galaxy. We won't we won't deal with the trade union. <laughs> Misa Timmy Tim Timmy. Mercer term Termins. He's like really like Ugh. Let's do a snapshot. Well, dude, that was uh, that was fun. What saying snapshot? I mean, that was fun, but uh, just starting with the uh, thank you again for kicking out those mid journey oh, yeah, pieces. For sure, man. But yeah. yeah, I mean, my idea was I, just to circle like full back. Like, I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I was like, oh, what about a spider driving a human body? And then we pumped it into AI and it created something completely different, right? So here's my piece and here's like the AI pieces. Yeah. Right? So you can see the influence it had is this like mangled body, these arms kind of going off frame. Everything's just weird, right? And I definitely want to get this, this stringy hairy language in here yeah. that, is, that is so scary yeah. dude. Uh, uh, that's I think, scary um, I think a lot really of scary. levels of fiber mesh like if you can do like different uh, layer, layers of it like the, the tangled mess I mean is really terrifying and they're, they're spider webs as well right like look at that that's what it is it's like taking images of spider webs and hair from the actual like cephalothorax of the the spiders is just making this weird texture, dude. Yeah. It's so creepy. Ugh, that's just gross, man. I mean, and that makes me happy. And gross things are, you know, gross, gross, gross things you know, are dope. Gross things are good, and good things are usually gross. Uh, good things are gross, and gross stuff is sick, and sick things are cool. And those are the rules. And that's that. We don't make those rules. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. That's it. Look, I'm just here uh, for Tim. I'm just here to like Tim down. Okay, like I'm just here. I'm just here to Tim down. And I've got some bonus dangly bits. Let's throw the dangly bits on there. See what that looks like. Let's see those dangly bits. Oh man, dangly. How dangly? I mean, they look dangly. Oh, that's a that's dangly. Yeah, I love so it. They're dangly in there. The thorax. 
<laughs> I love it when you say cephalothorax. I spent a lot of time studying spiders for the for a spider that I made. That that's uh, that you made a spider. You I made a, a spider. Spider. Spent a lot of time spider. It was a good spider. And I learned several things. One of them being cephalothorax. The other being tarsus. Those are the only things I remember. That's not true. I think the thing that creeped me out the most whenever I was doing the Goliath bird ear model was learning that they did have little tarsus, which is basically little rack They have claws. little toes. Yeah, they have they little toes. They have little toes. You're acting like it's cute. These things are terrifying. They are what? raptor claws. They are the hilarious. End. No. Oh my god, dude! No. I am spiders so scared of spiders. No, no, they're not spiders scary. Are they're terrifying. They're adorable. They're, they're terrifying. Uh, no, they're okay. 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 We're looking at uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, maybe, okay. Maybe. Maybe we can settle this. Okay. Well, you going to show me a jumping spider? You gonna well, show no, me Lucas? no. You I'm going to show, show me, you. You show me the Lucas YouTube video. I'm going to show spider. you. We're going to look at some tarantula feet, okay. and we're going to decide whether it's adorable or terrifying. No, look man. at those little things. Oh, my God. That's awful. Uh, uh, oh, I can feel no. it on me. I, I, I that, hate that. Look, I hate no. that. They I are the hate it. That is a, I mean, Dude, yes, they, that's bad. They, they look that's scary. That's bad. Look at it. Okay, look sure. Look at that. That's you bad. Look at that, yeah, it's scary. Sure. It's a talon. Sure. But then when you see like how small it is on this little tiny, like adorable baby foot. No. Like if you didn't know that that was on a tarantula, you'd be if, like, that's if so If you cute. didn't know what the rest of that shit looked like. <laughs> I think it's adorable. Yeah, well, you know, to each his own. That's okay. Ooh, you dude, know. that's looking dope. Yeah, it's good there, right? I like it. I like a. Yeah, it definitely feels like an underwater specimen. You know? Yeah, yeah, like he's kind of like, uh, you know, he's just living in your world. He's living in your world. He's living in your world. That's what we the like. High, we, the we high like council to, disagrees. We <laughs> we like to live in our world. We like Dude, we just want to live in our world. I wonder oh no, yeah. I've crashed several times. I always want to like record my undo history, but it never works for no, me. No, I've never I've never had luck with it. Yeah, because I don't even know where this was way back here. Let's see. It's gonna freeze. That's okay. But yeah, solid two hour block in on the Let's AI. See. See. On the AI product. How do you export this out when you have like 15 subtools and everything? Do you have to merge it down or can you export it in pieces? Are you are you like generally referring to like what we're doing? Because we're just using Keyshot Bridge. Yeah, we're, just that, sending, we're just sending everything from, from ZBrush to Keyshot. Dude, I gotta tell you though, the secondary language on your model is looking really good. Will you oh, go thanks. back to that? Will you go back to that render? Uh, back to my zippy zoop. Yeah, look at that, dude. All I'm, of that, all of that, like structural language on the tail and on the chest. The light is falling off of it so well. That's oh, thanks, buddy. that looks awesome, dude. Thanks, yeah. buddy. He's gonna be yeah. really cool. I, yeah, I mean, that I want to. I want to incorporate some of the like uh, uh in the reference here. Uh, like, I like some of this scaling stuff. This blue, this blue stuff here. I'm not sure like how to get that effect, but we're gonna figure it out. Well, getting that in 3D is not gonna. <clears throat> well, getting that in getting that in <clears throat> your beauty render not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You don't think? No. What if I? What if I take this as a texture, and just apply it as a texture? I mean, I'm I'm just saying in your beauty render, unless you control your. You're speculating. You're, <laughs> you're 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 laughing at me, bro. I'm going full look dev on you. Dude. I'm like, dude, unless you can control that stuff and key shot different roughness maps, translucent maps, and reflectivity maps, you can render out some different passes and comp it together. 
but in your beauty pass. You don't think I can do it. I, I think you can make it look awesome. <laughs> That's what I can. I'm, I'm not doubting you at all. I'm just saying it's it's a comp job, right? Oh, you think it's a comp job? Okay. <laughs> I think I, it's a comp job. Kind of sounds like a cash grab. <laughs> yeah, it, sounds, it sounds like a huge cash grab. Go back to your old stuff. Because <laughs> <laughs> this new stuff is just a cash grab. It's cash grab. It's just a cash grab. <laughs> <laughs> all right man i gotta get out of here dude. i think uh bedtime. i think we made some good progress today and oh, yeah. uh i uh, had some good fun yeah it was along the way super fun we made a lot of friends we learned Every, a lot of things everyone's having a good time my guy's name is tim uh i think before i go i'll add a little back light yeah. and i'll call it a day I think I, I definitely want to. Uh, uh, what do you think? You want to continue on? Yeah, this? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. Do. Yeah, for sure. Let's let's this go on uh, next week. Yeah, well, we'll continue on with this next week, and then you know what? Let's talk. Maybe, about it. maybe we should do a fan uh, a fan sculpt. Like get like get some suggestions from all of you out there. Yeah, dude. If if we can get some people to to cough it up what they want to see, I uh, you want to cough it up. We can take some. We can, we can do a take, little cough cough. We can take uh, a little cough and cough. We can do a little cough cough. A little uh, cough. Because this, is, yeah, I see this is like this is going quick. So like one more week, one oh, more yeah. week of this, and then yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. And then we'll 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 jump down on some ham bones. I love ham bones. Yeah. Would you well, say that this level of detailing is the end level, or can you still add down? more details i mean uh basically man you can go as far as you want so you the saying add, in, add, yeah, add. the the saying in production is it's never done it's always due oh uh, yeah never done always. so that should answer your question you can always add infinite amounts yeah it's exactly. all, like hey when you got to deliver it you deliver it yeah, you're you're kind of like always improving and tweaking it up until the last second. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, by the way, oh, Jared. Oh, oh no, please, please do. I am a terrible human. You are the worst. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> well, I've got my weird Spider-Man, and you've got your. Floody... I've got. I've got Ruddy Guffins here. <laughs> Ruddy Guffins. I've got Ruddy Guffins. He's the. Uh, you know, he's he's like the Merpoke. You know? He is the Merpope. I, I love mean, that. I, I love I Merpope. I mean, I want to make him like less Merpopey. <laughs> you know, like there's something about like this dude. Like, this dude look at this Merpope. Dude. <laughs> this dude's a gubber. <laughs> that dude's face is dude's incredible. Face I know. <laughs> this dude, is where dude. I was taking the lips from on, dude, on my guy. The amount of, I mean, to do that in CG, you would need like three different sets of geometry. Yeah, it's for it's, sure. It's bonkers, and I'm 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 also gonna uh, I I think model some innards too. Oh, you're gonna have to, and then you'll render out like just his skin is just glass. Yeah, and you'll just have some some goopy goop goops. I remember yeah, on Stranger yeah. Things. I, I, I was Stranger thinking things, that you did the goopy goops. I might have to do two different material, like a couple different materials on this, like uh, ways to break it apart. And, but it'll be a good uh, kind of assignment, you know, to see how we handle that kind of stuff. Dude, even if you duplicated it and inflated it or scaled That's it. That's exactly across, what I was going to do. If you yep. scale it across the normals. Yep, exactly yeah, what I was going to do. Just to, yeah, just a just little to, bit. Just to, have, to get the glass on top. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Put and then I was going to paint... Different materials, like in the belly, so I could get the belly a little bit more. Secret. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And get some, get some goobers going on in the belly, belly. There is. Uh, before we go, there's one thing I wanted to point out in your reference sheet. Will you go back to that? <clears throat> there's this man. Let's see it. Keep that guy right there. Dude's got a face in his stomach. I know. Oh, in the stomach. Oh, look at that. Look I at know. the face. So <laughs> look weird. at the face. <laughs> 
I love that. That's a, oh, that is creepy as hell, dude. I mean, maybe <laughs> so, maybe so I, I model maybe I model a face that's in the belly, like in the in the gut. Oh, it's like super like Japanese or like manga or something. It's yeah, just that weird, weird that weird element. You can see the the upper lip and the nose cavity yeah, and like some this, eyes. And this, like, sad little eye and this other eye right there. It is so weird, man. I, I think uh, I think we put that in. You know, because no one that that he's kind of got some. This guy's got some eyeballs in his stomach, which is cool. Yeah, he does. But that one guy's got he's that. He's got a face. That's a Homer Simpson. <laughs> That's some sort of weird Adventure Time face, man. I don't know what's going on. This guy's a Gubbins. I love that. He's yeah. Gubbins. He's Gubbins. He's a Gubbins. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And, and uh, uh, give me the deets on, on your boy. Oh, we're going deets. Let's go deets. Uh, basically, I started with the sphere. And... Uh, I was just, you know, I was the thing that I was responding to the most was <clears throat> these two images right here. This one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because true. they're they're going off screen, the the limbs, and they're not they're not spider limbs, they're like masses. It's this They weird, look like, like fleshy, hairy. Yeah, it's like, it's like a tumorous mass or something. Uh, and also, you know, one thing to note is it does have this really cool like light thing right here, but I'm not even thinking about that right now. Like in, in this phase in the first hour and a half, I'm trying to land primary yeah. forms. Big, big um, stuff, big shapes. And this one is the one that honestly I think I responded to the most because the camera angle seems to be a little lower. And so you're looking at you're looking at the viewer is looking up at it and it seems big, right? Yeah. It's big, and yeah. some of these some of these things are detached, and they're disappearing into fog. And the body, the face, just looks, you know, uh, trying to find the <clears throat> a proper <laughs> non explicit. <-explicit>, uh, <laughs> it looks weird, right? It looks weird. And so, basically, I took that, and I'm thinking creature design. I take that as a as an input uh, into like okay, so if this thing's in a movie like John Carpenter's The Thing Part Three, right? And I'm like, okay, so it's this. I started asymmetrical as quick as I could. I think I did a very quick torso, turned off symmetry, and just started snake like uh, what uh, Adam Hartel was saying. I just was using the snake hook with the uh, the sculptures, just pulling out lines. And the whole time looking at my silhouette up here, mm -hmm. right? And so, I mean, that looks that looks pretty weird. You know, the little silhouette looks pretty weird up there. And then before I got too serious, I immediately popped it over into a key shot, just just to see if the forms are working, like for my liking, right? And usually, what I'll do is I'll like kill. I'll kill my key light and just have like a backlight and some rim lights just to see if it's feeling a scary and B if it's unbalanced or something. So from in that shot, I'll just kind of like, like this right here. and like, okay, there were some choices I had made earlier on that was kind of offsetting to me. So I just went back and forth, kind of rotated them some things, made some things. And uh, that's where we are, you know, but you can kind of see, Actually, from this image, right, like, you can't make anything out in the front end. It's all kind of disappearing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a gnarly shape. Right, thank you, Matt. And, and whenever you go back to the, <laughs> whenever you go back to the reference, it's, it's kind of like this, right? It's like, you can't really, you don't know what the fuck's going on right here. But it's creepy. And, you know, it's really just the shape language, the idea it's a reference board. It is a reference board. It's an incredible reference board. After after using it in practice this one time, it's like, okay, this this gave me a lot of ideas. Does my artwork look like this at all? Not really, but it gave me really good reference and starting point to be like, this is where I want to go with this. You know what I mean? And 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 that's what I mean is is like it doesn't have they don't have to like live 
unharmoniously together. I don't think you mm. have to um, you have to say like, ah, oh, just because AI exists doesn't mean you can't um, you can't make art on your own and and come up with um, you know ideas generated from AI art. You know, right, uh, right, uh, for sure. I think it's all you know. It's all just a tool, and and it's like don't don't let don't let the new tools like bring you to despair thank you hartel yeah no for sure it's it's a wonderful tool man like it's i think i think the disparaging part about it there, there are parts about it that are conflicting absolutely yeah no i mean we we've, we've discussed those kind of ethic um those kind of ethical things as well so i mean yeah it it, it does come at a price um and and we only we're we're you know, we're just at the, it's infancy. Yeah. Uh, dude, infancy is so true. I remember it's so, AI art, so like, early to tell, you know, like dude, AI art two years ago was garbage. And yeah. Never... Gan breeders is what dude. they were called. And, oh and yeah. yeah. Were, you know, it's, it was the same thing, but it, it didn't sync a photo together the way this does. It like actually, dude, this like actually looks like a render. It's crazy. Seeing, I, I even, I was before I was here. I was over at my buddy's house, and I was trying to explain to him. He, he's an environmental biologist. He's one of my best friends, and he is a technical guy. And he loves the fact that you know, as look development and, and creature artist, I get to dive into like scientific things. Like yeah, you we know, get to we get to kind we of get to, we get to realm. do all of the fun stuff. Like I have to know everything about materials and lighting and biology and anatomy and all that stuff. And he loves that shit. Right. And I was showing him, uh, the AI stuff and I, he was like, Oh, so you like put a bunch of images in. And I was like, no, nah, man, you just type a word. <laughs> <laughs> you can be like, <laughs> you can just you can type, say, you can type Van Gogh, lobster, surfboard, macaroni skillet and they'll be like damn here's the, it'll, it'll, cool, it'll here's pump out cool. image, yeah it'll pump out images that way uh, it's, it's nuts i, it's I made nuts. A, i made a ice cream sundae out of hamburger meat and i was like sweet <laughs> why not <laughs> why not? we can do whatever we want there's no rules we can make we can make mm -hmm. uh that seems like a good place to leave yeah, leave the awesome. evening. Um, I want to thank my co-host, the Fallen Kingdom to my dominion. <laughs> uh, uh, I want to thank Matt Millard, as always. Thank you, Matt, for your wisdom, your kindness, your 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 tenacity. Um, <laughs> I want to thank uh, our sponsor Lenovo for sponsoring Creature Corner. Love I want to Lenovo. thank Noman School of Visual Effects, Love the mecca Lenovo. of visual effects, uh, and I want to thank me. <laughs> I want to thank. I me. want to thank me for hosting. Uh, no, uh, thank you all, guys, uh, so much. Again, if you want to talk to us as humans, please. Uh, 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 we're on Twitter. Uh, that's me, Monster Mash042. That's right. That's 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 me. And then uh, I'm on uh, Instagram at Jared Krushevsky. You can find me there. If you want to get a hold of Matt Millard on Twitter, it's at itchy tasty underscore. He's got a he's got a sub zero tattoo. It's a sub zero tattoo. And then if you want to find him at uh, on the Instagrams, it's at Matt Miller 3D. Boom, let's hang out. Uh, let's um, go. Uh, please uh, reach out to us. Let us know what you think of Creature Corner, what you want to see on the show, what yeah. we can do better for you guys. The show is for you. Uh, so let us know what we can do to make the night better for you. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with us. As always, uh, we'll see you next week. Later, guys.